it resulted in them being near the bottom of the country in third down conversion rate. These are a challenge. Just 26%. James flushed out of the pocket, makes the first man miss, and James scoots forward for a first down. Did a great job to evade Jackson Mitchell. James will pass on first down. Using his feet again, goes to Fournay, who makes the catch at the 30. Of just reading and reacting. He had eight tackles against Fresno State last week. Third and eight. Oh, the fumble off the snap, and UConn recovers it. Jackson Mitchell there at the right time, and the Panthers turn it over after a solid first drive. Three targets, three receptions, 34 yards last week. That's how you build that trust. Houston right up the guts. First down yardage and much more. Houston still going across the 35. UConn making a statement here early on the ground. Right now, it doesn't matter who's on that D-line for the Panthers. They have gotten moved back by UConn. Oh, an eye formation here. Rosa to the right side. Touchdown, UConn at 6-0. Best tackler, Donovan Manuel, gets to him in the backfield. But on this play, their best tackler was bested. That'll serve the Panthers well, just like Jolie on the other side. Yeah, Mia Min has been a nice addition at the tight end spot. James. Deep down the near side, it's Bracey the reception. Balance took him out of bounds, but it's a nice play for the Panthers, moving down the field once more. UConn drops back into coverage. James has all sorts of time, but they've got a couple spies on him. And that's picked off by UConn, going the other way. It's Trey Wortham. Across the hashes, still on his feet, and out across the 35. Costly miscues. First and goal at the four. Rosa following his blockers. Rosa second effort. Touchdown, UConn. It's 13-0. Zone once again. They move Aaron Turner off. He sets up a strong side with standing one, two, three tackles. First play, James quickly. Jacoby Hewitt makes the catch out by the 40-yard line. That's a good start to the drive for the Panthers. And they'll start this at the 45, Corey, and give off to Flex Joseph, who sees some space to work with. Joseph makes a man miss and across the 30-yard line. Nice run to start the drive from Lexington Joseph. Third and 33 here, partner. Under seven minutes to go in the half. Panthers will keep it simple on the sweep. Chris Mitchell gets a decent chunk back, but taken down inside the 40. The tight end set here. Turner will hand off. Houston finding some more running room out across the 15-yard line. Devontae Houston's been a factor in this first half. Second and eight. Houston a run. Has blockers. There goes Houston. All sorts of room to run. Houston across the 35. UConn gashing FIU. You can only play with who's out there. UConn's had to deal with it too, and you just tip your cap to the Huskies. That was a really well played first half. Rulis from 26. No problem there. Gets inside that upright, and makes it a 17-0 game with a minute and three left to play. A New Year's Day bowl game yep. in the late 2000s. So was Kansas, who's had a renaissance this year, of course. Right. James. Oh, he threw an interception. Oh, that's the worst possible outcome for FIU there. And UConn's back inside the 10-yard line. Trey Wortham gets the pick, and UConn wants some more. This should be the final play of the half. Rulis, 35, punches it through, and the interception will cost the Panthers three points. We'll take four yards on first down. Another RPO here. James feeling pressure, and he'll be taken down. Of that got close to that line of scrimmage to avoid too big of a loss. Three down lineman and edge rusher standing up. He'll hand off up the middle. Flex Joseph has daylight, and it's a touchdown for FIU. Guy who in his first year of college football had a 100-yard kickoff return, that tells you he's fast. He gets past one tackle, and once he's into the third level, there's no one going to catch him. Fresh set of downs for the Huskies. They'll give to Rosa. 
He cuts up field. There goes Rosa. Plenty of space to work with. He's across the 30. Rosa could go at the pylon, and he's out at the one. The Fayulam Raja Bell looks on. Rosa the carry, and he's taken down, maybe lost a yard on the play. Panther stack in the box. The toss, a reverse. First man missed. This is Cale Millen, the backup quarterback to the end zone. It's a touchdown on the trick play. Yukon gets in the end zone. Athlete and wide receiver. A little Philly Philly turns Yukon Yukon. Work it up. Millen, who's played a little bit this year, 20 passing yards before that throw, finds Zion turn. That time he just shoves a man behind and comes up and assists in a tackle. Second and six. James off his back foot. Finds Fairweather down the far sideline and out across the 40. They're reduced to a field goal try. And Chase Gabriel will knock it through. Now four of five on the season. On third down, James hands off. Joseph found space. First down and more. Still going across midfield. Flex Joseph, tough running tonight. No, oh, it's been it off. No, that's he's. He's been terrific this year. Play fake. James steps up, and he'll be brought down from behind. Couldn't escape the pressure. And he'll be brought down for a loss. James goes far sideline. Dean Patterson on the run. Patterson still going across the 10 and brought down. Monte Houston had to exit last quarter. There's a fumble on the field. Rosa couldn't handle it, but able to fall back on top of it. Boy, a dangerous moment for UConn, but FIU could not. Still, let's see if that's where they want to go. The clock continues to tick, and that's the biggest thing right now, FIU. Whoa. Oh, now it's going in the end zone. It should be a safety, yep, and it trickles back. Bad snap. Halen remains the keep QB. He'll keep it this time. Oh, FIU sold out on the run. There goes Millen. It's a house call. Kale Millen to the end zone. Here in the fourth quarter, take another look. Just in terms of the yardage, this is the big one. But you're right, he's had two plays, and that one mattered even more in the pass. But this one, he just gets to have a lot of fun. Dead on sprint to the end zone. And that puts UConn at 298 rushing yards on the ball. It's the last thing to come for a young team. And look, the meme has gone around Twitter of the most overrated stat. And then you see the Iowa coaching staff come on and say offensive yards. Funny because of how Iowa has struggled. But offensive yardage can be overrated sometimes. Sure. It doesn't necessarily tell the story.